So I guess I got to ask you, you know, they uh, on the show this week, they vacated the titles. Punk doesn't have the belts. The elite doesn't have the belts. They didn't say any one by name. So that proves it's actually a shoot because there was no footage. Do you think now and now they're saying that Punk, not only did he cause all that commotion at the press conference, gets in the physical altercation, but during the match, he tore his tricep or his shoulder. It hasn't been confirmed. So he's going to be out of action for quite a while anyway. Do you think with having had two title runs that have lasted a total of about four days, both matches resulting in a broken foot, now a torn tricep and all the heat on him, do you think he's done? His body's starting to fall apart. I've had a torn tri- tricep. Uh, you're looking at surgery and then about four weeks, five weeks out before you could even start back working on it again the rehab in it so if it's a torn tricep he won't be out that long shoulder different story uh it's gonna make a, he's gonna make it's gonna make a big difference so we know they'll take kenny and the bucks back because he don't want to lose them to nobody punk you know like i said he caused all this trouble he caused all this nonsense wins the belt for moxley breaks his foot wins the belt again uh now he tears his tricep or his shoulder uh, all all this bad mouthing that he does drama queen no one wants the guy back there's there's no chance of him going all right uh, to hell with you tony khan i'm going to triple h they don't want him anymore do you think this might be time to cut your loss and be if you were tony khan be like this experiment is not working you're nothing but trouble you're not worth the x amount of millions i'm paying you well i don't know how long he signed for so i'm sure he's maybe signed for five or three years uh they're gonna try to make they gotta make their money back so even if they make it back on gimmicks and merchandise and stuff like that, God bless them. I mean, I can't see him letting him go so early until they get their cash back. That's all. I'm looking at a, a business aspect about it. Right I now. bet he made it back opening night with that shirt. Well, he did. I mean, if he did, there's nothing. I mean, like I said, if he keeps getting hurt and it's just one thing after another, like I said, and the way MJF is coming in and he's taking that part, especially as a super heel. Moxley is the big baby face now. I don't see CM Punk as the big baby face anymore. You know what I mean? It's just not happening. It was when he first came back. Because you got to remember, it was nine years since we've seen him. You know what I mean? So now I look at it and I say, okay, that was exciting. He was back. We've seen all the interviews. We've seen all the promos. Enough's enough. Now let's see him work in the ring. Hasn't been that good. I got to you know, no. say that. It hasn't been that good. No, and and like uh, the only matches he had that were good was when he was carried by somebody else. Yeah, and I'm not going to lie. Look, he's old school wrestler. Most of his matches, you could go back and look through the history books of matches. You know, he does Bret Hart matches. He does Shawn Michaels matches. He'll do a match from A to Z from beginning to end and copy the whole entire match. And well, I've seen the, him. Remember the match he had with uh, uh, Dan Housen calls him bald. Uh, Dax from uh ftr that was so amazing on normal tv somebody put it on youtube if you play it back it's the brett owen match from wrestlemania 10 it's almost identical to it it's identical to the t to it yes that's it that's owen's match i used to go to japan with owen so i i know owen's work and i've seen him work a million times and i've worked against them thousands of times uh yeah, he caught, they just, like I said, and that's not the first time they've done this. They've done it a few times already. So, you know, it's not something new that they're just starting to. Why do you think Paul, Paul E. liked Punk so much? Why do you think he wanted to, when they did the new ECW thing, why do you think he wanted to push Punk so bad? At the time, Punk was over. You know what I mean? That's how I look at it. You know, Paul, if he, if he don't have to push somebody and they're already over, that's less work that he even has to do. And like I said, there ain't no way they're going to bring Punk back to WWF now. I can't see them doing it. So if you ran a company, would you hire him? Or do you think he'd be more trouble than he's worth? No, I wouldn't hire him. He wants too much money. And right now, the way I look at it, he exposed himself. He exposed himself when he left WWE to go to UFC and he got his ass beat, I don't know how many times, two or three times. Two times, wasn't even, badly. Wasn't even, a, wasn't even a freaking contest, bro. No, neither one worked. I mean, he just got his ass fucking handed to him. 